Hello and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be reading out an argument I've been having with uh, some idiot on the internet. Um, so, let's begin already. Slow do talk. YouTube, this is not the time for you to be slow. So, the original comment, were, and this has created quite a big argument, was from Liquid Black Wolf, who is not the person I am arguing with in this video. He says, Marvel's Thor is a fucking joke of Norse mythology. Why don't they just make God, or Allah, or Buddha, or some other religious figure superhero movie? And this, this is all true. But... Some idiots. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so we'll finish after Joke on You eighty nine has left this argument. Um, so Marvel. So I say, Marvel owns the trademark to Thor, the shitty piss take of a god, not Thor, the god. I'm here because it's the internet, he said. Don't come here if you don't want to be, if you don't like the character. I'm here because it's the internet, completely free. Completely without restrictions, at least until the Snoopers char. It's YouTube, I can watch what I want. And this is basically countering his point. So, um... Then he says... If nobody cares, no, he says, nobody cares about your opinion because it's the minority. Minority. Nobody cares. My opinion's wrong because I'm in the minority. You're saying that Hitler was right to kill those Jews. The, min the minority of people, the German people, and, yeah, the minority of German people opposed what he was doing with the Jews, what he was doing to the Jews. You're saying that was right. You're saying that black people shouldn't have rights because it wasn't a majority who wanted it. The same goes for this case. You're saying Thor, a god, shouldn't be depicted accurately because only the people who follow the religion or who hate the character want it changed. Are you that fucking dumb? You fucking idiot. Your entire free speech thing here, yep, he opposes free speech apparently, is bullshit. All you've been doing is trying to stop the minority having their say because you're scared of what people can do if they use their voices. You're scared that the minority actually might get heard, so you try to silence that noise. That's not free speech, that's oppression, and you can't be a fanboy of a god. We follow the religion and want to see our god depicted accurately, like the others. Fifty or sixty years ago, if you asked someone who Thor is, they'd have told you about the god. Now if you ask someone who Thor is, they'll say, Superhero. That's not. If you've never had a problem with him, then you obviously don't know much about the god. In which case, I'm wasting my time talking to an unknowing gibbon. And then he replies with... There's a pretty big gap between ignoring someone's 
someone based on their interpretations of art and storytelling and then ignoring someone of their basic human rights. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what's in those fucking human rights? You know what's in those fucking human rights? Free speech and you saying nobody cares and my opinion is wrong because it's in the minority is not fucking free speech. That's an intrusion. Intrusion on human rights. So. Anything else? This is an artist's take on a mythological person. They struck gold and appealed to many people. See, seeing as how Thor is a favourite Marvel character among lots of fans. If you can't see how your limited view is your own fault, then you're an idiot. No one has to follow your perception of Thor. This is a fucking god. A god. They struck gold, apparently. Sure they did. That's why this argument's going on. My limited view. My limited view. Yeah, I believe in a fucking god, dumbass. And it's my own fault for other people laughing at me for saying I believe in Thor. They they say I believe in a comic book character, and that's my fault. No dipshit. That's their fault and Marvel's fault. I'm not saying anyone has to follow my perception of Thor. My perception of Thor. I follow a fucking god. There is only one perception. The character that Marvel created is a good character, but he is not Thor. So. I'd say it's not how it has to. I say it has to represent at least some aspect of. Of the god, if it's to be called Thor, and if it's actually going to be taken seriously. So, you tell me where it states that Marvel has to adhere to a certain code that implies if they want to talk about something, they have to stick to the original, and that's it. Where it says it is representation. Not everything has to be stuck to, but at least one thing in the fucking character to make it fucking recognisable, dumbass. If you want to make your own version of deities, then go ahead and do so. No, don't do so. Not like Marvel. You can fuck. You can make your own version, sure. But at least have one aspect of the fucking character. Actually representative. And his most recent comment is, It is how representation works. They took something and made it their own. They have every right to do so, whether it be artistic interpretation or the fact that Marvel owns the copyright. Bullshit. <laughs> Hence why no one else can make their own version of Thor. Dipshit! Do you know how boring it would be if everything that has ever brought about been brought about or reimagined looked and was exactly the same as the original. Then it would wouldn't be anything different and just a rehash. Marvel don't own the rights to Thor. Ma Marvel don't own the copyright to Thor. Marvel own the rights to a guy who wears armour, flies around with a hammer called Mjolnir and a red cape. That's not Thor. Just as Jesus Navas isn't Jesus, the Son of God.
So, if you actually had any good points, I might take you seriously. But you don't. Because the thing you're defending is bullshit, and you know it's bullshit. So, Cave 8104. Maybe you should learn, I don't know, to get a life, to get a fucking job, not be a fucking twat. That's all for this video, leave a like if you enjoyed, and as always, subscribe.